Yo, it is your boy Limitless Mike. I hope you're having a blessed day. And we got kids, we got high schoolers who are out here running 39 seconds in the four by one. That is, that is, that's as fast as NCAA Division One times. That is great. Now that that's not gonna win nationals, but that is freaking fast. And this is Thurgood Marshall High School out of Fort Bend, Texas. And these boys go out here and they run, they tie for the second fastest four by one time in the history of, at least in the United States, high school track and field. Blazing. Now, let's just watch it and then I can talk after. And this is one of those in case you missed it, because a lot of people have seen this, but I got to make sure y'all know what is going on out here, what these young boys is doing. Watch the middle of the track, it's going to become blatantly obvious who the school is. Great handoff. If you can't tell, it's a team who's eaten. At 150, they took first place in eighth, all the stagger. Third leg running alone. And this kid looks like he is moving. I don't know if it's the shoes or what, but... He looked like he ran a great leg. And now his fourth leg, and this dude is running by himself about 20 meters, maybe more, ahead of everybody. Boom. We're going to check it again. I think this is Will, because this is Will is smashing on third leg. Sign him. Bro, that is so funny. Imagine showing up to a track meet. Y'all are about to go out there run a 41 or 42 or maybe y'all really not that even that good y'all run a 43 and these boys go out here run a college time a 39 now like i said this is the second fastest high school four by one time uh, of all time that we have recorded in the usa and even this would be this is good at the ncaa division one level this is pretty good um you know relay teams you can you can go you could, there's teams that are going to win a Division One conference title who are not going to run this fast, who are not going to run a 39-9. There's teams that are going to go all the way to West Regionals. They're going to get their per diem money. They're going to travel. They're going to go out to uh, Iowa for West Region or East or West Regionals. They're going to go to, you know, to the University of Texas or University of Oregon, wherever they're holding the East and West Regionals at that aren't going to make it this far, that aren't going to run this fast. And this time right here of 3980 would have beaten a couple schools. Not a lot. It wouldn't have beaten a lot of them. But it would have beat a couple schools at last year's NCAA Outdoor Championships. And, you know, especially now with the pandemic and the way the world has changed, the NCAA, they be having some, some grown men. They be having some people with kids and people who could be doctors and stuff in there. And these kids, 17, 18, maybe 19, I don't I don't know how old they are. I don't know all, everything that's going on. But all I can say is these kids went out there and ran a 3980 4 by one they, would, they could beat a few of these grown college teams. Now, USATF, I don't know. I don't know if we got a World Junior Championships going on this year. I don't know what the what's going on for the for the World Juniors and all that type of deal, but this is who I want to see go and represent Team USA in the four by one. If there's some, if there's like a uh, a Juniors international competition, I don't want y'all to hodgepodge one together. I don't want it to be homie from Cali and homie from New York and this and that. I don't want the four fastest 100 meter kids. I want these guys right here to go and represent Team USA on the international stage, especially if they continue to do this. And just for reference, so I, it doesn't show who 
who the actual four members of this relay was. It just shows relay team. So I don't know if they grabbed some pros or some people out of the stands to fill in. And that's why they ran so fast. I don't know. I wasn't there. Um, but just for reference, on a on a previous day, they had already broken 41 seconds. They ran a like a 40.3 uh, four by one. So it is, you know, it seems to be official. It is official that they're, they do this. And even just another layer. So this year they already ran a 40.3 and then that 39.80. But they have a long history. For 11 consecutive years, they have broken 41 seconds in the 4x1. Uh, this school has, you know. Every year they're dipping under 41. They're running a 40 every single year. Again, that is that is like low-level college, NCAA Division One college time. So... They're not new to this. They're true to this. You got to salute that. And even, I believe, this is just what I saw. This is what I read that even back in 2019, they had a 39.9. And if you if you Google this squad, if you Google uh, Thurgood Marshall, Fort Ben, Thurgood Marshall, 4x1, you're going to see them. They're on SportsCenter back in 2019, back in 2017, like just showing them mashing in the relay. So... Like I said, they're not new to this. They're true to this. And yeah, kids, the Young Bucks are out here running 39. We got to watch it one more time. Let's do it. <laughs> the girl said, oh my God. They knew what they was watching. They was in history. Now the the Texas State Championships are going to be coming up in a few weeks. So phew, you better be tuned in. This is something to be watching at the Texas State Championships because Texas always has great runners they they get that good weather they get that good competition and them boys and the the ladies and the fellas go out there and just kill it so this is definitely an event to watch and then i just got one other very to me it's interesting just like an interesting layer so on this team you know a on this is just per athletic.net so everything might not be correct it might not have all the information all the results etc cetera, etc cetera. but this team that just ran a 39.9 their fastest 100 meter runner has a 10:44 PR. That's very impressive. His name is Delvin Devin Wilkerson. That is very impressive. But we've seen we, just this season a lot of people run faster. It's not like it was a 10:1 or 10:2 or a 10 flat. Their fastest person ran a 10:44. Their second fastest person, William Mitchell, again just per Athletic.net, has a 10:72. He is a freshman. That is very impressive for a freshman. And then the third fastest 100 meter dash that we have, and this is even when they ate it, was an 11.06. And that was for Darion Dilett. Now, none of the 1044, the, the first two are impressive, but it doesn't scream extreme speed. It doesn't scream 39 seconds. In the 200, they do have another guy who has run a 21.38. So we can sign and see with, see with that, you know, they're filling out the. The squad, a 21-38, that's a good leg. That's a, put him on second. That's probably ran second. Oh, he can run the longest leg, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you can see how that fills out. And then they have another person who ran a 21-91. That's, that's good. That's really good. And then they have somebody in the 400 who ran a 48-67, um, a Mason Roseboro. So we don't know yet who, who their quartet is, but just from those stats, you don't see 39.8, but them boys got a 39.8. So shout out to them again. We are we're gonna have to watch at the Texas State Championships. It's gonna be great. It is your boy Limitless Mike, and just know that there's high schoolers out here running 39 seconds in the four by one. I'm out. I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.